when we use our ability to breathe, to control our breathing, to focus our breathing in the moment, and challenge certain thought patterns, uh, behaviors, biases, prejudices, and when we recognize in the moment that these things don't represent our truest self, they don't represent our highest consciousness, they don't represent our, our values and, and principles, when, when we, in the moment, choose to think, act in a different way, and, and, and breathe ourselves into those actions, and release old behaviors and thought patterns and attitudes that are not serving us well, what we're actually doing is forging new neural pathways. The brain talks to the body through the central nervous system, and this is commonly known as brain plasticity. And what we really do over a period of time of practicing, of mastering mindfulness, is we create a new default. Mindfulness becomes our default. And what that default does is give us the opportunity to, to change, to act as opposed to react in situations so that our purpose in life, our pathway through life, our actions, words, thoughts, and deeds actually represent our vision of ourselves. There's been a, a lot of research, some really profound research, on mindfulness and mindfulness meditation and its effects on brain plasticity. So this is a valuable perspective to have on investing yourself in mastering mindfulness. <laughs>